Here I have another shirt that has been tie dyed with bleach. I used a stencil and a brush to apply the discharge paste. Now when you drip Dynaflow it spreads in all directions on the fabric. This is called wicking. You can use this to your advantage and still get clear cut areas of color by creating a barrier with water based resist. Applying a water based resist is probably easiest out of the applicator bottle. Make sure it's well mixed and then outline your areas that you want filled with color. I have already outlined each image except for this last one here at the bottom. Uh, the barrier works best if you allow the resist to dry. So now I'm going to outline this last image and then I will show you how to apply the Dynaflow. When you are applying the water-based resist, give it a little bit of space. It does spread a tiny bit so you don't want to get exactly on the line that you want to encompass. Then make sure you go get all the way around and it connects on both sides. If there's any space left, the Dynaflow will spread out through the little gaps in, in the lines that you've made. The best part of the next step is the Dynaflow does the work for you. You've already done all the detail work when putting down the resist. Now all you've got to do is watch the Dynaflow spread inside the barriers that you've created. Be patient during this step and allow the Dynaflow to spread to its final destination. It is possible to apply enough Dynaflow that it flows over the resist barriers that you've laid down. The resist is doing its job and the Dynaflow has spread out to the edges of the design. In this example, I want to show you how well you can blend different colors. You can see here that my uh, resist lines were not perfect and I got some leaking. You can prevent this by slowing down and making sure your resist lines are thick and even. Once I have finished filling in all the remaining white areas, I'm ready to apply my second color to give my design some depth. Because the fabric is now saturated with the first color, the second does not spread nearly as much. It is easier to put the second color just where you want it. The Dynaflow spreads and blends by itself, but don't be afraid to use your finger to get a really nice effect. The results speak for themselves. The combination of discharge paste and Dynaflow creates a strikingly bright image on a dark background. Neither method significantly stiffens the shirt either, so you end up with a soft, comfortable shirt that is as fun to wear as it is to show off. <laughs> <laughs>